Okay, well, we have a lot more stuff here. But you see that we've got the same curve that we had. We've got the Z values. Um, we've, <coughs> excuse me, labeled the X values. And we've located one. And we ask, what's his Z value? And we go into a little more detail on finding his Z. I did that kind of quickly on the preceding. So let's see how we depicted it here. The Z value for any position on the axis is measured um, by, well, it's measured from the center of the distribution out to that point. OK, so that here is the uh, distance that corresponds to the Z value, OK? Or the change in height that corresponds to the Z value. Now, what's the difference between the mean and Duane's height? That would be the length of this arrow. Well, that would be delta x. Delta meaning change in. That means change in x. Remember, x is the variable that we use for the heights. OK, the change in the x value is 8. So z, well, what's z? Um, don't think I wrote it down uh, clearly what z is, but we know from previous classes that z is the number of standard deviations. OK, well, we've got eight x units here. Standard deviation is what? It's three x units. Standard deviation is three inches. Delta x is eight inches. Is that more than one or less than one standard deviation? Well, it's clearly more than one. OK, it's more than two, because two standard deviations would be six inches, and eight is more than that. Um, it's not as much as three, because three standard deviations would be nine inches, and eight is less than nine. So it's between two and three standard deviations. How many standard deviations? Well, if this is the change in the x value corresponding to whatever number from, from the center, uh, then we divide that by the length of the standard deviation. Uh, we have one, two, and most of three. Now, that's what division means. It's not something you do by punching buttons on a calculator. It's something with a meaning. And in this case, we find that z, which is the number of standard deviations, is 8 divided by 3. OK? It's 8 inches of difference in height divided by the 3 inches that corresponds to a standard deviation. And that comes out approximately rounding 2.67. So you know, and we have the question here that you ask. How many standard deviations is 8? Well, a standard deviation is 3. So 8 is 8 thirds or 2.67 standard deviations. You want to think about that statement until it really makes sense to you. In any case, now we've got the, the uh, z value corresponding to Duane's height. And the next question is, uh, What's that going to, how's that going to help us answer our question? And our question is, how many people out of a thousand are taller than Dwayne? So we'll continue with that question in a minute, but let's make sure we understand in terms of this picture what this picture is telling us and how we found Dwayne's z value by dividing the difference between the mean and Dwayne's height by the standard deviation in order to get the number of standard deviations that correspond to that difference.